What's up guys, welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adriansen here again. Today guys, today I'm gonna teach you three helpful tips to create awesome and dynamic Power BI reports. How about that? So, are you ready? Let's do this. So the first tip that I wanna talk to you about is called Smart Narratives. So there is actually a visual here in Power BI so it's right here, Smart Narrative. And this visual was introduced in 2021. So this is a really, really helpful feature. So let's give it a try. So let's hit this option and let's see what happens. So what's happening here is that the program, Microsoft Power BI, is basically gathering here a summary for us, okay? So with the key metrics. So we will see this in a second, okay? There you go. So the cool thing about this feature is that this summary can be customizable. So we can change, right? We can make changes here. So we can delete any text and we can also add new text. And that's basically the goal of this tutorial. So here we're going to add two different sentences and let's do that. Enter here and let's start creating this new sentence. Okay. So year to date profit for and we need to select the country here. So, and this is the coolest thing about this tutorial. So check this out. So we already created a measure here. So let's go to measures here. And there is a measure called select country. So let's hit this option and here it is. So I'm not gonna go into the details here, but basically what I'm saying here is, if you select a country, give us that country right if we don't select anything please give us this text right here select country so let's give it a try and let's see if this works so let's go back to this box again and let's start playing so what we're gonna do here is let's add a value okay let's hit value here and then we're gonna select right here select country okay and automatically we will see here the option select country there it is so once we have the option so we can also rename this okay how about here 11 save right here and let's see what happens check this out my friend the magic is happening now there you go so here we have this dynamic feature called select country so what happens if we select a specific country? Let's do that. So how about friends? Check this out. Mm -hmm. So it's loading. There you go. Friends is right there. So it's working. So the idea here is to have this functionality in a dynamic way, right? So that's what we're doing. And let's keep playing with this, okay? Year to day profit for select country. And then is and we can also add here another dynamic measure. So let's do that. And here we're gonna reference the measure called year to day profit, okay? So year to day profit, oops, it was right there. Let's select this option, boom. And then let's rename this, how about 12 if we want. Let's hit save. Mm -hmm. There you go, it is working. So we can also here add more color if we want. How about if we select this option here? So let's go to the option here for colors and let's select this color. And also we can make it bold and also we can increase the font size. How about that? So what do you think now? That looks better, right? More visible, cool. So we can do the same thing here for select country. So let's do that. And for this particular case, I'm gonna select this color here, okay? Let's hit bold and let's select 12 as well. Check this out. Mm -hmm. It is working, my friends. That's awesome. So now let's keep playing just to make sure that this is working. Check this out. Let's select right here a country. It is thinking. Uh-huh, 
Now it says year to date profit for friends is about $3 million. There you go. And now, so let's add another sentence here. Okay. So let's do that real quick. Total profit. Okay. How about total profit? So total profit here for same thing here. So we're going to be referencing a country. Same story here. Okay. So let's do that. Add value here. And here let's ask a question. Select country. It is right there. And now how about 13 here? Save. Check this out. Okay, there you go. What else is we need to reference the other measure, right? And for this particular case, we need to reference the measure called total profit. So let's do that value here again. And then we're going to ask the question here total profit. It is right there. And then how about 14 save and let's see what happens. boom and then you can also do the same thing here so let's select these numbers again and let's do the same thing here bold 12 because we want to make this visible right okay so the same thing here for select country how about that isn't it awesome so same thing here bold this color here and 12. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then you can keep playing just to make sure that this is working properly. How about Mexico here? Mm -hmm. We have Mexico there. And how about December 2013? Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's working my friends as you can see this is a nice way to create dynamic reports so the numbers match here total profit also matches here okay perfect so what do you think do you find this helpful if so don't forget to leave your comments so now guys let's move on to the next tip Slicer features. This is also a good one. So let's select here the slicer. Some of you might know these tricks, but some of you might be new. So let's do this. Once we select the slicer, let's go to visualizations here and then let's hit format your visual. So once we are there, select slicer settings. The first feature here is the search option so if we activate this option we enable this check this out so you can look here let's say i'm looking for mexico you type mexico here there you go you find the name real quick so the good thing about this feature is that if you have a long list of countries right so it's going to be really helpful to find the country that you are interested in very very helpful and also this work just for text okay keep that in mind okay so the next feature is the selection option here here you can activate you can enable the select all option check this out mm -hmm. so now if you select this option so it selects everything and you can also unselect if you want so how about this option right here individual options here you can also select individual options right that's how it works my friends here you can also inactivate this selection right you can turn this off or on which is the multi select with control if you want to select with control individually you can do that as well so basically what you want to do here is if you want to select multiple countries you have to hit or hold down control first right and then you will be able to make multiple selections 
because if you don't do that if you don't hold down control you will be selecting just one country i hope you find this helpful but you can keep playing with this tool okay so the main idea here is to make your reports more user friendly so now guys let's move on to the next tip so now guys let's talk about the unicorn symbols this is a really really nice tip as well i learned this from my friend nicola Ilik. he has really good content as well you might want to follow him and this is how it works so let's do that so before we get started with the tip so the main idea here is to have icons for each country instead of text we want to have icons so basically for mexico for example because they produce a lot of avocados I can have just an avocado picture there, for example. For Germany, for example, there is a quite popular festival, Oktoberfest. I can have a beer there, for example, right? So things like that. And the same thing works with slices. So let's do this quickly, my friends. The first thing that we want to do here is hit enter data because we want to add a new table here. So you can add manually or I already have here the, the table, like I said, for friends, I have the Eiffel Tower, for the United States of America, I have the Statue of Liberty, for Canada, I have the Maple Leaf, for Germany, like I said, I have a beer, because it's part of the Oktoberfest, and for Mexico, I have avocado. And of course, you need to have here the Unicode. So this is coming from this website. So I'm going to show you the website real quick. This website right here. I'm going to share with you the link as well. So you can have right here a lot of icons here. I'm going to share with you this link, this website. As you can see, you can have a lot of symbols here. For example, the maple leaf is right here. This is the Unicode and etc. right? You can keep playing with that. So basically, that's where I get the information from. So let's go back to the Excel file. And we have right here each Unicode for each country. So we're going to select this, control C, and now let's go back to Power BI. So we're going to hit right here, control V, boom, there you go. So we have right here country, we have Unicode. And then we also can change the name of the table if we want. Let's call this country symbols if we want, country symbol, okay? There you go. Let's hit load and let's see what happens, okay? So it's loading. So now you guys can see here the table called country symbol right so it is right here country symbol so the next thing that we want to do here is add a new column and here we're going to use this function called unichar okay so let's call this new column symbol okay so we're going to use here the, the unichar function and we're going to be referencing the country symbol unique code column there you go and let's hit enter and magic is gonna happen shortly my friends check this out boom there you go so let's go back to report but before we go back to report let's take a look at model real quick because we want to create a relationship right this is the calendar table we have already the calendar table here the financials table with this is our fact table and we also have this table called country symbol so double click here just to make sure that the relationship is correct perfect so country for financials and country for country symbol so this is working perfectly my friends so let's hit ok let's go back to report mm -hmm. so here we are in report so once we created this table, once we created a relationship, the next thing that we want to do is start playing with this. So let's say right here, this visual. All right. So remember here, country is coming from the financials table. So let's inactivate this because we want country to come from the new table. And for this particular case, it should be coming from symbol. Check this out. And then we need to move this to access boom my friends now you can see the eiffel tower here the maple leaf there for canada so here we have a cup of beer for germany 
So here we have the Statue of Liberty for the United States and also we have Avocado for Mexico. There you go. And now we can do the same with this slicer. So let's do that. Let's select the slicer here. And now what we need to do here is the following. So let's go to financials. Let's inactivate here country from financials. And then let's reference symbol from the country symbol table. Check this out. Mm -hmm. What do you think? And then you can select right here from Mexico. Let's select the avocado. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Mexico avocado right there. As you can see, this is a very dynamic and awesome feature in Power BI. So now, after we went over these three tips, what do you think? Did you find this helpful? If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. And also, please don't forget to leave your comments. Let me know if you are using these new features. Alright guys, see you in my next tutorial.